What is that one thing you always hear when you watch a how to have a successful YouTube channel? Pick a niche. 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 Many of you are stuck in this step, including me, because we are scared of boxing ourselves in. We want to show the world all the different sides of us, our passions, our hobbies, what we do on a day to day basis. If you're new to YouTube and you're just starting out, I would highly recommend just making as many different videos as you possibly can because you really don't know what kind of videos you would like making until you actually do it. A makeup tutorial is very different from a cooking tutorial or even a vlog. So just start experimenting and do as many things as you can. If you do know what kind of niche you would like to go in but you're kind of scared of the commitment, then I'm here to remind you nothing is forever. It makes sense to have a niche or a theme on your channel when you're first building an audience because people need a reason to go to your channel. At this stage, they don't know who you are. They don't care about your daily routines. They just want to know what kind of value can your channel give them. So whenever they come to your channel, they know they think what is the consistent value they can get whenever they visit your channel. And let's say one day you blow up in that space and you become an expert in that field. Well, first of all, congratulations. But sometimes you may feel kind of tired. You don't want to make the same content all over again. What do we see that with a lot of OG YouTubers? They start their channel when they're really young and they end up burning out because they're just so tired of it. Remember, life grows. You grow as a human being. So why can't your channel grow as well? Don't let that happen to you. There are also other many YouTubers that pivot and change their content as they hit a new life stage. A great example is when people started having families, their content switched totally different. And you do lose a part of that audience. But at the same time, you do gain a new set of audience. New, you reach out to new people who kind of understand and relate to that content. Remember why you started a YouTube channel? We all love to monetize and have high aspirations for our YouTube channel. But at the end of the day, we started because we wanted to have fun. So don't paralyze yourself. Changing your niche is not the end of the world. Sometimes good things have to fall apart so better things can happen. Don't ever let the fear of losing your audience or even money defer you from changing your direction. I say you don't lose all of your audience. Some of them do stay because they followed your journey for X amount of time. They've grown attached to you. They have a relationship for you. They actually watch you for you and not just your expert knowledge. This is the stage where many people would like to reach out. This is where people care about your daily routines and your hobbies and your other passions. At the end of the day, building a channel and an audience, it takes time. So instead of spending all this time wasting it on what niche should I do, I would suggest take out a pen and paper, write down the five topics that you are most interested in. Pick the number one that you are most interested in. Go all in and have fun with it. Try it out and pivot along the way when you feel like you need to. Nothing is forever, including your niche.